Hi friends, this is Sue Betty from the Bluebird Tavern in Burlington, Vermont. TEND, Exploring the Vermont Foodscape, is a series of video postcards from the many farmers, cheesemakers, brewers, bakers, and other businesses that supply our restaurant with incredible local ingredients. This is a story about how dozens of creative and hardworking people are making a living by producing truly excellent regional products. Um, this year it looks like we're probably going to get a flood tonight. Early April is a great time because we're not really planted yet. You right. know, there's no real stress of losing crops right now. We might it might delay us getting some things in because we have to wait for the ground to um, to to dry up a little bit so we can get crops in. But everything catches up. You know, it's not as big of a stress. It's more hard on the farmer's mental state right. than anything else. The land is used to it. The land can handle it. No big deal. Um, Hi friends, it's uh, August 1st and we are back down on Half Pint Farm with Mara, Half Pint Farmer. <laughs> and the last time we were down here it was uh, late March and right around there, yeah. uh, the farm was just starting to open up after winter yep. and then it went underwater for it, a while. Immediately into <laughs> flooding season for us and it was a pretty dramatic spring. I mean we had, we flooded five times, the whole farm was under three, you know, one and a half feet to three feet of water at various points throughout May and June. So we got a pretty late start. We pretty much lost our entire early season, which is kind of shocking for us. We consider ourselves an early season farm, so it was it was hard. But um, as you can see, I feel like we've completely recovered. We're, Great. we're just all systems go at this point, which is really exciting. This is my happy place. This is what I live for all year, is to be in this place where I just get very little sleep and harvest every single day, and that's a good place to be. This spring was such a challenge with the flooding and you know we we're just in this really sad place because there were tears. I mean there, there was so much water on our field we just had no control over it and I really learned a lot about you know the land and that farming on a floodplain you just gotta let the floods come mm -hmm. and the floods bring you amazing nutrients. I mean I feel like this is one of the best seasons we've had so far as far as quality mm -hmm. of the crop and I know that's because of the nutrient that the floods bring in. I'm always humbled. I'm just, so, I'm so humbled, and I feel so lucky to be farming here. And um, I hope that translates in the food that I give people. We do about 60 varieties of heirloom tomatoes, um, and they are just starting to come on really into their strong season, which is exciting for me because it's every February when we get the catalogs, it's just look at all these great tomatoes, and I just get all excited, and we order too many, and then it turns into this, which is just glorious to me. And we start to harvest from the bottoms of the plants and then which is really we past two weeks we've been harvesting and we still have like the whole length of the plant to go this year so I feel like we still have like you know two solid months of tomato harvesting to go which is perfect. Mm. Heirloom varieties are varieties of uh, any crop really that have been just determined to be have some special quality of some kind um, whether they have a really incredible taste uh, a really great growing habit, um, really beautiful color, or something like that, that usually precludes any sort of uh, shipability. So they have everything, they have the whole package except for the shipability. So the cool thing about heirlooms, especially in tomatoes, is you can really only get them close to the source. You're really only going to be able to find them really near the farm that they grew because they don't travel very well. So um, we feel like we're really good at offering a huge array of heirlooms to our local community because we really believe in keeping these seeds viable, keeping them in the food stream, and introducing people to them because a lot of people haven't had access to these crazy varieties. So it's fun. It's fun to be that, that point person. I'm a spokesperson for all the heirloom tomatoes out there. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Blossom end first. Super sweet. Mm. This is the furry yellow hog. And then it goes to very tart at the tip. Very complex tomato. Isn't that good? It's awesome. I know. Tastes like summer. It's almost like a peach, you know, in its uh, juiciness. It's good. It's a good learning process every single What's year. What's going to happen like for the next few months? 
Well, I'm really hoping we're gonna have a long fall. Yeah. Um, I'm, that's my greatest desire this year. Um, we have, we're planning for it. We're ordering extra seeds. Um, we're gonna do some innovative things this fall to try to keep uh, keep the flow mm -hmm. of crops going, even though the days will get shorter, mm -hmm. even though things will be harder to grow. I'm in this business for the long haul, so I want it to work at all times, no matter what happens right. with the weather. So I'm really trying to be innovative and um, look forward. That's the plan. And where can folks find you? Folks can find us at the Burlington Farmer's Market on Saturdays, at the New North End Farmer's Market um, on Thursdays. Um, they can find us in area restaurants. And, um, you know, we have a wholesale account with Healthy Living. If you can't find us at the, at the markets, usually you can find our stuff there. But, you know, you can find us online and you can contact me anytime. I reply to every email. So if you have questions about your produce or questions about where to find funky vegetables, I probably have an answer. Cool. Yeah. And uh, your website is? Uh, halfpintfarm.com. You're on the Facebook? I'm on the Facebook. I'm on the Twitter. We're okay. half, half Pint Farmers on Twitter. And I'm pretty active at that stuff. So <laughs> hopefully people notice. And uh, yeah, it's fun. I enjoy being active. So if you want to learn about heirloom, yep. contact Half Pint on yeah. the web or in person at the market. I'm around. And Mara, good luck with the rest of your season. Hey, thanks. Uh,